Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. As you can see, I'm sitting in my office after driving all damn day, and I'm very glad to not be in my Forerunner, at least for a little while. Now, one of the things that I have noticed on the last few videos is a high-pitched noise, whine almost. I started to think that I was imagining it, but I wasn't. I have just done several tests now to the point that I actually have my headphones plugged into the camera so that I could hear it. I have come to find, after researching on the internet as well, that it's the Rode Wireless Go. It, it doesn't matter what cable I, I'm using for it, it still has the, the high-pitched whine. Somehow, and I'm not exactly sure when this happened, but my audio recording settings on the A7C, and I even remember saying what I had it set to, and it just didn't hit me that I had it turned up so high, but I had the audio record level set at like 27. So I only had three more like button pushes to max it out. Because of that, it was giving some kind of interference because I had the mic up too high. So what I did was I turned the audio all the way down to five, and then I started playing with the gain settings on the Rode Wireless Go. Five was way the hell too low. In fact, I pretty much had to take it up to 15. I could probably take it down to 12 and be good. And then I have the uh, the gain on the Rode Wireless Go set to the, the little notch in the middle. For now, it, it looked like it was okay until I started recording. And now that I'm recording, I can definitely see that, that especially the way that I talk, where I, I inflect a lot and, I, <clears throat> and I'm constantly clearing my throat and doing annoying shit like that, that it, it's it's going to be too loud, so I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to go back. I'm going to turn that down and see what we get. Okay, so now what I've done is I've put the camera audio record level down to 12, and I kept the gain on the Rode Wireless Go the second notch, so in the middle, because it's either there's nothing, it's in the middle, or it's high. High is way, no matter what setting I have, I can just hear all the noise. Now, for right now, I can say that I do not hear that whine, and it doesn't matter how I twist this. Now, the other thing, and I'm gonna have to go to the mirror to show you this. So I have the Rode Wireless Go set to the top, forward most cold shoe of the small rig handle that's connected to the top of the cage. When I had it down here, and I'll just put it down there, and you should be able to hear that whine almost immediately. And there it is. All right, so I can't do that anymore. That means that anytime I want to film with this A7C, I'm going to have to have it in, well, I mean, it's always in the cage, but I'm going to have to have the top handle on here. So then I'm going to have to have the wireless go receiver at the top frontmost cold shoe, and then have the cable run underneath all the way to the microphone jack so that it is completely like elongated out. I mean, not completely. I mean, it's a, it's a coiled thing, but that seems to do the trick and make that wind stop. I never had that problem before, so I don't know why all of a sudden I'm having it now, but it's pretty freaking annoying because, like they say, you can have shitty footage and people will still watch, but if you have shitty audio, people will turn it off immediately. And I could definitely hear that in the background on the last few videos to the point where I'd heard it so clearly on the one that I actually put music on the video even though I wasn't going to. Yeah, I don't want to have to do that every time um, because sometimes I don't want to put music to it. I just don't feel that. So right now I think I'm pretty good. Of course I'm listening with headphones and I'm looking at, at the audio stuff and it seems to be okay but I want to see what it looks like and sounds like when I pull it into Final Cut. I have indeed verified what the problem was. Sony A7C, Rode Wireless Go, the original one, not the Rode Wireless Go 2, with the cable that came with it, I had to take my audio record levels down considerably. Don't know why the hell they got turned up to 27, but I actually turned them down to 12 and then put the gain on the Rode Wireless Go to the second notch in. So none, middle, end. So it's in the middle. It sounds good. I don't hear any noise. I don't hear any of that and I definitely don't hear that that, that high-pitched whine. Other than having to now move my Rode Wireless Go from the cold shoe on the cage, I have to put it on the cold shoe basically on 
the handle connected to the cage. And, and I'm fine with that. I'm glad that I figured it out. Watch your audio record levels. Make sure that you have your Rode Wireless Go put somewhere so that the cable isn't all wrapped up. Kind of sucks because, you know, I, that's the whole point of having a coiled cable is to have so you can neatly tuck it away. But I guess you can't do that. And that's a lot of people said that online that, you know, you just can't. If, it, if it's coiled up and stashed, you're going to get the wine. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.